So after months of not touching Elden Ring, or any Souls game for that matter, I decided it'd be a decent idea to try out an Elden Ring enemy and item randomizer again. On a completely unrelated note, this video blew up. Thanks for that. Despite having thousands of hours in this game, keeping in mind Steam does not track offline hours, and a countless number of those being level 1 speedruns, this run was an absolute headache. And, and, I, and a reminder that even just not playing the game for a little bit can make it significantly harder than you remember. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Because I don't want to do a, a, like a really long rando, so I'm only going to do two great runes needed to access the final boss. Instead of all, all of them. Is, that a, is this a duo fight? Oh no. Okay. That went well. Oh no, I'm still going to play absolutely perfect. Oh no. Okay, that death doesn't count. Alright. Ah! Uh, okay, listen. I haven't played a Souls game in months. I, just, I gotta get my bearings, okay? I keep pressing X to roll. That's how bad this is, alright? <laughs> okay, we're just de-rusting, alright? We're getting used to the game again. And this weapon just fucking sucks. Okay. <laughs> We did it. Perfectly fine. See? This will count as your playthrough? Huh? Well, this is going to be a cursed playthrough. Because one, I'm not doing all seven great runes. I'm only going to require two. Because I don't... I already know this is going to be rough. I, I keep pressing the wrong button to do certain things. A nice cuppa. Yeah, so, okay. TJ. People in the UK, they call grilled cheese a toasty. Oh, you know what may not be helping either? I'm gonna lower some of my video settings in game because I think they're like maxed out. Perfect. Hi, McCall. The insane Elden Ring on low settings that every speedrunner must do. Because Elden Ring on high settings does not like com computers. I don't trust you. No, it, it's really bad. We had several deaths of characters simply because like uh, quick time events would not show up. So, like, it would pause, like, it wants us to do a quick time event, but then we couldn't. Or, um, I say we just go down to Margit and embarrass myself when it's a boss that I I can I no longer remember how to fight. I really thought with the new updates to this game, they would, uh, they would have, you know, how do you get off Torrent again? How do you, how do you get off Torrent? Uh oh <laughs> Yo, I swear, every time I play, every time I play a randomizer, she is so fucking cute. <laughs> Some crazy fucking, it's going to be Horaloo. Phase two. Yeah, phase two of Godfrey. I'm calling it right now. Not with, uh, no serpent hunter. Okay. Is this the duo fight? Yeah. It's going to be a duo fight. We are going to die a lot. Oh no, the poison in this arena! I did not consider this. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright, see, so I've decided ultimately that the best course of action here is to not do these guys right now. Listen, I still gotta get my bearings in the world, alright? I gotta get used to how the game plays again, you know? It's been a minute. So, again, 
I did that because I wanted. I, I forgot you could teleport. <laughs> That's my first playthrough. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's uh let's go loot some stuff that I vaguely remember where it is. And again, we only need to find two great runes, so surely this won't be too bad. My favorite part of all these randomizers. We're also gonna try tree skip for a half an hour and then die over and over. All right, so it was here and then you would. What a fucking legend, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. All right, I'm just, I'm just built different. We could try to do the skip over here if I remember how. Wait, how do you do the skip again? It's like... Okay, that doesn't... <sighs> okay. See, free, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? We're just gonna go straight to Lyernia. It doesn't count. Why are you killing this guy? If they don't sell great runes, there's no point in keeping them alive. They don't really offer anything good to me. All right, so let's go do all the vendors and stuff I know of. Which granted isn't many. What did Zero get banned for? Wait, Zero got banned on Twitch? They're saying that some character should be dead in the House of Ashes game. I thought it was for talking about his new underwear. No, I mean, I mean, it sucks because, like, there's this weird dichotomy in games sometimes where, like, like, okay, so we know that, like, one of the best things to do for this game is just to go ahead and get, like, ridiculously overpowered by grabbing a bunch of somber stuff really early. And you can either A, do that and have a very slow, boring start, or you don't do that and you just put yourself at a disadvantage for no reason. See, I did that, Feta. I did a bunch of, like main playthroughs when this game first came out but the problem is that like because of the way this game works and the way that staggering and the poise in this game works in particular it it, it makes like repeat playthroughs feel kind of awkward when everything gets like stun locked so easily you know Surely, right? I'm playing Elden Ring though, which is very weird. I haven't played this game in a while. Yeah, that was kind of a fuck situation. Yeah, I, 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 I can't. <laughs> this fucking poison, dude. <sighs> this is still one of the worst bosses I think they've ever made. <laughs> that was fair. No, no, no. Stop with the poison. This arena is too small for it. I need to go this way so I have more room to run from poison. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid, man. Alright, we're, we're going to go get... Upgrades, because I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Alright, now we can beat them, actually. <laughs> we got the necessities.
Death's Poker. OP. All right, I guess we will not be grabbing this item. I guess we'll not be grabbing this item. I guess we will not be surviving. I guess we will not be surviving. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Okay, well that's a that's a move. That's a move. That's that's a move. That's that that's a move. That's it that is that is definitely a move. Well this guy is a fucking animal. Oh yeah yeah, Ordina one's not a boss, yeah, like I said. His moves are insane. I'm dead. Bro, he's too much. How did he kill this man? <laughs> Alright, I have a game plan. I have a game plan. Alright. Listen. Listen, he's so delayed. He is so delayed. This is... Every path has so, so much resistance right now. Alright, uh, now I have a game plan, though. I know how we're going to take him down. Free. Both randomizers I've done, I've gotten a weapon that stun locks the merchants like crazy. Didn't wash it. I did wash my hands. I'm always open about whether or not I wash my hands because if you, if you, how bad I've said it a billion times and I'll keep repeating it. All right, I haven't streamed in months, so I'm reserved that right. Um, how bad do you have to be at peeing that you have to wash your hands every time? All right, how bad do you have to be? How bad are you at peeing? All right, <laughs> I almost feel like this is a metaphor. Animals, TJ. You call grilled cheese a toasty. <laughs> Can I have a toasty? One of my favorite pastimes now is getting into a Discord call with TJ and just asking him what certain words are in in the, the British language. Like, apparently in the UK, they don't call it tic-tac-toe. They call it knots and crosses. <laughs> Not jump roping, it's skip rope or whatever. Silly, silly stuff. I like that the, 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 the fucking resin didn't last the entire fucking fight. If you want to call this a fight, that is. Blimey? Blimey's a cool word. See, people in the UK, they have, you have cool, like, one-off words. Like, there's certain words you'll say sometimes in a sentence that I, I, I'm a big fan of. 10 out of 10 approve of. But then, like, some of the words, like, what, what, a stovetop you call a hob? Like, come on, what? Yeah, everything in life requires my improvement. My, my approvement. Before it's allowed to be committed to. Wait, it is approval, is it? <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Listen, I don't talk to people often, all right? I'm a recluse. Like the spider. Not choke this, please. Thank God. Fuck you, stupid piece of shit. 
Yeah, I don't know why they patched the millennia skip. That was a really useful skip. Like, that's one of those skips that, like, I'm trying to compare it to a different Souls game skip. It's like tree skip in Dark Souls 3. Or, like, roof skip, whatever you want to call it, in, in Fire Link. Where it's like, it doesn't really hurt the integrity of the game in any way or anything. It's, it's Moog. Not again! This was last time! Nice. Okay. Rolled medallion? What does that do again? Uh, what's the... Scales of Dex? I guess the frost probably spells... Or the... 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 the, the, the yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not gonna be fine. It's gonna be perfectly fine. I am such a good gamer. That took a lot of skill, a lot of practice, a lot of effort, a lot of knowledge to achieve what I just did. And this is where the problems of Elden Ring start to slowly show themselves. Yeah, Frost enemy, by the way. <laughs> I have an intriguing question for everyone here who may have more brain cells than I do. Um, in order to get into Lindell, you need two golden great runes. Does Millennia's count? Like, is it any two great runes, or is it only great runes that are accessible, like, early game? Like, Radon, Renala, etc. It does? Okay. The last time we got Millennia in Castle Morn, and I don't know if I remember how to fight Millennia. I mean, Millennia is probably the easiest boss in the game, so it's not like it'd be hard. I didn't even check what he had. That would have been probably something that an individual with a couple more brain cells than I possess would have done. <laughs> the problem, let's, let's talk. All right, there are, there are three main types of randomizers. There's item, enemy, and location. Those, those are like the main types of randomizers, right? Item randomizers, I firmly believe to be the best because it takes what you would normally consider to be a linear route um, like, like, your knowledge of the game is not betrayed in any way, shape, or form. The knowledge that you have of the game, like, let's say, for instance, uh, Castle Morn here. Like, I know there's an item. Okay, this is a bad example, but let's just pretend. We'll pretend. We'll pretend. I know there's an item right here. Let's just pretend. And in a randomizer, I am rewarded for this knowledge because I am getting all the checks possible enemy randomizer i think is kind of meh because enemy randomizers ultimately <laughs> ultimately enemy randomizers just mostly come down to like the fun factor you're right there's nothing really in like inherently challenging about enemy randomizers unless you get some meme it's just like changing the order of things around but with fog gate randomizers you're not really rewarded for your knowledge in any way, shape, or form. Because as long as you understand, like, uh, the way that you'd normally play the game. Like, it, I don't know. It, it's hard to explain why I feel the way I do. It just doesn't feel like you're rewarded for the knowledge that you have of the game. And you can make the argument that, like, oh, if you're in a really obscure location, then, like, having knowledge about the area could prove to be useful. But is it, though? Alright, so in the last episode of this, the last little iteration of the uh, randomizer, we got Millennia. And I feel like this time, because we had a Stella Godric again, it's going to be Millennia here or Fire Giant. Those are my guesses. Fire Giant or Millennia. We're going to play the game we played last time where I'm not going to show you guys what the boss was. Oh, I'm coming, Malekith. Dude, the, the sound effects are throwing me off. Insane fucking 1 HP.
Well, that was the most awkward fight I've ever had. <laughs> That's what we need. No, I'm kidding. Or am I? We'll find out. <clears throat> I wasn't sure, but I was holding on to some fucking hope. We'll go give it to Thops. If Thops gives us the actual key, I'll let you pass. All right. Wait. Fuck. Where did I just go? All right. Godskin duo. Let's do it. So you can't frost him, can you? This weapon is OP. <laughs> no boss repeats. Oh, I forget how to fight him. I do not remember. Yeah, I don't know why he's muted. He was muted earlier when I fought the second phase of him earlier as well. All right, well, boss, take our bets. I love being able to see what's going on. Okay. We got Placidus X here last time! Still missing a great room. Okay. Surely I remember how to do this. Okay, more right. <laughs> I, okay, I jumped in the completely wrong spot. Okay. Jump. Okay, I do not remember how to do this. Okay, it does still work. Want to be faster to run there? No. First try, yeah. Do we get all the summons? I kind of want to get all the summons. We get all the summons. A true Avengers Assemble moment. Avengers? Where the fuck are my Avengers? Okay. <laughs> go, team, go! <laughs> this is how it feels to be a group project. The teacher says your partner is the person sitting to your right. Where Alexander is? Oh, I killed him. Alexander's dead. I, I killed him. I, I, we, we fucking murdered Alexander. The Jar Shark. He's fucking dead.
That was like the first thing I did when I loaded into the world is I fucking went and killed him. What did he drop? I didn't even- I don't even know. I didn't even look for the drop. I don't think I picked up the item he dropped. I just wanted to kill him. Oh, yeah, Godskin Duo is pretty bad, but I don't think it's as bad as the Duo Gargoyles. I genuinely think Duo Gargoyles are the worst boss from software has ever developed. But it's- the, the problem with them is the, um, the poison. If it was just like a duo fight, it wouldn't be bad. Because it's not even that bad of a duo fight. It's just the- it's the poison. The problem is- hold on. Well, let me- let me finish killing this dude, and then I'll talk about the real problem with the poison. Bosses- and this is my personal opinion, so if you don't agree, that's fine. You're just wrong, okay? It's fine to be wrong, you just are. When it comes to bosses in- in, like, a game, or any of the Souls games, they have a few different ways they can attack you, right? Most bosses will tend to have some kind of ranged attack. That's very common. And sometimes a ranged attack can be something as simple as like a jumping slash attack. Like something that covers ground towards you. I'll consider that a ranged attack. Because to me that just makes sense. I can to consider that like a ranged attack. Again, don't agree. It's fine. You just It's okay to be wrong. The other way bosses can attack you is a simple melee attack. Right? They have some kind of melee. Or whatever. Uh, like... Even, like, spellcaster kind of bosses, like, bosses that don't really have, like, a melee weapon, they have some kind of, like, bash attack. The other way is some kind of AoE, right? Whether that be, like, a stomp or a jumping slam, which you could kind of group up with um, melee if you want, but I, I consider it to be different because usually you have to interact with those attacks differently. The problem with the poison attack by gargoyles is it, it covers multiple of those at once. It is an AoE attack, it is a melee attack, and it's also a ranged attack, on top of being something that lingers. It, it does damage to you as you stand into it, which is bad, while also poisons you. Just like Waterfowl Dance? No. Because Waterfowl Dance doesn't have any long-lasting impact on the fight unless you die. Whereas Poison, you, will, you can get poisoned by this thing that covers a massive amount of area and lingers... That will also keep you poisoned until you decide to deal with that poison. It's not that it's too hard to reliably evade, because you can reliably evade it. But the problem comes, and especially in a duo fight, this is particularly true. If you have to do something like this against an attack that you can barely see on the ground, wait for other attacks while the other boss is like, hey, I want to do this attack too. So then you're constantly running back and forth. And it's just not a fun fight. It's not a good boss design. Yeah, if they, so the, the, the easiest way to fix this, and I think I don't think it would make the fight good, but I definitely think it would fix a lot of problems with the fight, is if the poison didn't do dot damage. If, if the it, it would only be, like if the poison only did damage to you if you actually got poisoned, it would fix a lot of my issues with the fight. It wouldn't make it a good fight. No, I think the easiest way to fix millennia, and it pains me to say this because of how many hours I dumped into that fight, is simply just give about a half second more time before waterfowl actually does anything. Because Waterfowl is really, really the only part of that fight that anyone has, like, issues with saying, like, oh, well, that's kind of bullshit, right? I've never heard someone complain, like, well, her triple slash attack just does not seem fair to me. No, it's it, everyone's complaints are always Waterfowl. I'm about to get my ass kicked, by the way, everyone. This has always been one of the roughest bosses in this game for me. I forgot about that. You wouldn't even spam it five times. I thought it was, if I was that close, he stopped. He does. It's that one! <laughs> First try. This will be the last boss that we struggle with all playthrough. What is this boss going to be? My guess, the best guess, the only right guess, is Godskin Duo. Radagon? That's a good one. I think it might be... I think you're right. I, I changed my answer to Radagon. Hyperion, you gotta change your answer to something else. 
Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck is that? Nameless King. Oh, it's Godfrey? Oh. Yeah. Yolo. Okay, no Yolo. Why do you guys want DS3 so bad? Bad game, really. Who is the cutest NPC in DS3? Wait, wasn't there a follow-up to that? Rat. Rat is pretty cute. Carla? I'd accept Carla. Do noble skip? Nah, I need I need to kill this thing. I don't even know what's going on, but we're gonna pretend that us. Yeah, I have no idea what just happened. Okay, we're gonna attempt to noble skip just to see if I still got it. Bro. Alright. Now you gotta do the real gamer move here. That everyone was too scared to do during runs. Saying half second time save. I thought there was an item over here. Oh, that's awkward. Um... Oh my god! Oh my god! You get a wife? I can't even get a girl. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ah, uh, poor K. Listen, all right. I don't remember. I'm a liar, I guess. DJ was right all along. No, you actually have to double roll that, Barzies. No! This is actual worst case scenario. Come on, Roger. Oh. Come on! Stop it! I'm stupid! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No! <laughs> No, Lionel, not with the skulls. <laughs> not with the skulls! <laughs> I am peaching like this is fucking... I don't know how hard he hits is the problem. Oh, he... 
He staggers, never mind. So, do you guys notice the problem I'm noticing? Still no great room. <laughs> Making an oversized flower a boss, calling him Miranda, putting a check mark on it and going, yeah, this is our magnum opus. <laughs> And then that one intern, what if Miranda, the blighted balloon, and then Miyazaki's just like, God damn, this kid, he's going places. And that's the same guy that went on to fucking make, uh, well, I don't know. My jokes ran out. God's gonna do it. Basically, right? Oh! We should check, um... The NPC in Liernia who normally gives you half the Deckness Medallion. I forgot about him. Pot guy. Albus? No, no, no. Pot guy. Hello? I don't like that sound. Yeah. I don't have a bewitching branch either, sadly. Okay, see if I remember how to fight this dude. I'm stupid. Oh, it's a very cheesy weapon, yes. That's like every weapon in this game, to be honest. Like 90% of those weapons in the game are super cheesy. In some way, shape, or form. Could you guys stop having this delayed nonsense with random ass attacks in a combo? I am the luckiest human being in the world. I should be dead. I, there's no reason I should have survived that. No rune? Oops. <laughs> I think I did that by last randomizer too. <laughs> oh, wait. I have the Finger Slayer Blade that I can take to Ronnie now, don't I? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't actually really kept up with Elden Ring speedrunning. I know a lot of older skips, but most of them are patched now. I hate that attack. Won't have one. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go to Ronnie. Is it Crystalline Woods? Is that her bonfire? No, I'm fucking stupid. 
why am I the way that I am? <laughs> it's Ronnie's rise. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Fuck. Loretta? I haven't fought Loretta in a hot minute either. I don't remember any of the strafes for her. Oh my god. Oh, it's you have to roll left there, don't you? Or you don't have to, but I think that's how I usually did it. Yes! Progress. I'm just excited for the fun run through Mountaintop of the Giants coming up. Woohoo! AR, see, AR glitchless was fun, but it wasn't at the same time. Because, like, running to Estelle took forever. Running, like, there's so many long running segments, and... There were certain things that were allowed that were just like, that probably should not be allowed. And there were certain things that weren't allowed that were like, okay, that should probably be allowed. Which is why before that, when we were running, uh, we called it Giga Chad percent. It was a lot more fun because, I mean, yeah, we kind of made the rules. So, of course, we're going to find it to be enjoyable, but God, it's going to do it. Not get that off. Surely I remember how to fight Moog, one of my favorite bosses. Yeah, this is sewer mode, I think. Sadly. I really think Moog is one of the best bosses they've ever designed. Even though a lot of people will disagree because of the, uh, Neil. I think Neil's fine too. People just don't like that it's uh, unavoidable damage. Miranda the Blighted Bloom. I think Miranda the Blighted, Bl Blighted Bloom has potential to be the greatest boss in all time. It's lacking just a few things, which I'm more than happy to elaborate on. Well, there's uh, like a few small changes. It would genuinely be the greatest boss of all time. I, I like him because I think he's a good boss. <laughs> the he has one of the best soundtracks in the fucking game. He has a really good moveset. A lot of people don't like him. 
because of the unavoidable damage. That doesn't bother me. Because, one, casually, um, unavoidable damage is not a bad mechanic. I don't know where this idea started from, but it's not. Unavoidable damage is a fine fucking mechanic. No one can give me a good reason as to why unavoidable damage is bad. Or no one has given me a good reason, rather. If someone can give me a good reason, or like a reason that, like, that's fine. But I haven't heard a reason that's like, yeah, that makes sense. Not to say there isn't. It's just no one's given me one. There's a boss in the site got a war spoiler. Uh, so I guess if you really care about like 100% authentic playthrough, go ahead and mute for like 15 seconds. But there's a boss in God of War that's the new God of War that's pretty tanky. Um, and at the very end of uh, the fight, towards the end, he has this thing where he makes you, you're covered in what's called Bifrost. So essentially, like, you're not at 1 HP, but if you take damage, you're basically dead. So you have a tanky fight that towards the end of the fight, you're basically one shot. And I love that idea. That's like, you don't have that buffer. And that's what I like about the Moog is like, like you're not going to die to Neil. All right. Even if, like, if, as long as you have Estus, you're not going to die. And it's really cool having this part of the fight that incentivizes you like, oh, you held onto your Estus. You didn't get hit. Okay, good. Because you're going to need it. Or you can go get the Physic upgrade. Sure. Moog has had bad hitboxes. No, he doesn't. He has fine hitboxes. Okay, thank you, Iperion. I'll save that after this fight. Loretta again? Again, I'm just yet to hear a reason why unavoidable damage. Because that's most people's problem is the kneel and the fire in the arena. Which the fire in the arena doesn't bother me. Galera? Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god, I died. Loretta. Genuinely, if you could skip Mountaintop of the Giants, this game would be ten times more enjoyable to speedrun. If we get a spawn right before the Fire Giant Arena. Ten out of ten. Okay. Let's see. Oh, horseback god skill would be sick. <laughs> It's gonna be God skin into Elden Beast. <laughs> Holy shit, this thing does damage. It's gonna be God skin into fucking Elden Beast. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Come and get me. <laughs> he's fast, he's fast. I thought it was going to be funny. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't try to heal. Wait, oh, he, they changed that? Why the fuck would you change that? What the fuck? No, are you fucking serious? What kind of brain dead decision is that? God, that attack is the worst attack in the fucking game. You need, like, inhuman reaction times to dodge it. Oh, they lose aggro from here. Hey, nobody. Uh, that sounds normal for early game. Fingers crossed, the second phase is an easy fight. Oh my god, I don't remember Morgoth at all. Oh my god. Guys, this is not going to be fun. I do not remember Morgoth at all, dude. I don't remember his moves, like, at all. Do I have any kind of healing item? 
guess it doesn't matter. Oh boy. Oh my god. Bro, he's so I cannot I cannot fight him anymore. I used to be so good at Morgoth, now I can't even fucking get him to phase two. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate that attack. His death animation made him hit me again. Yay, roll time. What is that stop he does? That seemed fair. That seemed awfully fair to me. Thank fucking god. That took way longer than it should have. I play that so fast and I play that like such a bitch. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I just don't remember his moves at all. Oh, the real Moog. I just got stuck on the fucking lamp. Or the candle. What the fuck is hitting me? Why are you in here? What are you doing? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die to Moog. Imagine. See if I remember the timings for these double rolls. Okay, I want to get out of the fire for a little bit. He said, all right, buddy. <laughs> oh my God, I couldn't see what he was doing. I don't know why I went for that. I got blood lost. <laughs> yeah. I would love if I could see through all this fucking debris that's flying around.
All right. Didn't do that right. Game is too big to not have a DLC. You would think that, but also, I mean, Miyazaki doesn't like sequels. I don't even know if Miyazaki like. All right, guess we're not doing burb skip. I just, I highly doubt there's going to be a DLC personally. Why do I think this way? I don't know. I just do. I don't want Bloodborne too. I know you're memeing with the three, but. I fucking- that attack is the worst attack in the fucking game. There's like no tell on it or anything. Okay, I definitely thought he was done rolling earlier. Oh, that move. Because Osiris charge attack makes sense. Which I know people are going to clown on me for. I really don't actually know Margit's move set that well. Can you do like an attack I can properly punish? Okay, I forgot about that attack. Ah. I wonder which boss this is going to be. Hello? Can you fucking move? Who's it gonna be? There should be two fights. Oh, I haven't fought, fought this bad boy in a minute. Okay, ooh, that's a lot delayed than I, a lot more delayed than I remember. I don't remember how to dodge it. I don't remember his attacks. I'm gonna fucking die to mimic tier. Oh my god. Get 
Last two. We have not had Radon yet. I had this last time, fuck. Okay, final boss. Be something cool, be something cool. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Renola. Can she even be frosted? I bet you these books hit hard, though. Oh my god, my frame rate does not like this. Do I soft lock it again? No, thank god. I soft locked Renala on my last randomizer. I don't think it can be Soldier of Godric. Okay, thank God that doesn't insta kill me. Which one? Which one do we do? No, I'm gonna go eat. I might do another randomizer later this week or next week. I might just start doing a randomizer each week. Cause they are a lot of fun. I actually have never seen this cutscene. Remember this ending. She's hella anime? What's her name? What's her anime name? Did you get achievements on co-op? No idea. Karen? No, no, no. Her her anime name's more like like she's like a Dalithu or something, you know? No, it's like Dalithu or something weird, you know, where it combines like six different names that you've never heard. The fallen leaves tell a story. Yeah, and your fucking cutscene blinds me. Holy shit. Of how a <laughs> Suck me cock? What's that? <laughs> In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Wait, is the only difference with this ending cutscene the rain? The rain effect? The age of the dusk born. Is that it?